I have picked a winner of my super secret giveaway and it is the Z manifold and my winner is Brad Nance I've made contact with him just need to find time to get by the post office and send it off the Z manifold will be the adapters for the gauge head the short shut off low loss ball valve as you see here as well as one of the six inch hosed valves for low loss just so that the system or the, the Z manifold is more capable of reaching into different units and whatnot. So when I get a chance I will show the picking process and go through that but I figured I'd mention it here. What's up, everybody? Uh, I uh, got another question. Those of you that run your own show, Talon, Ralph, uh, Al, Gregory, Steve Laff, um, and whoever else I'm forgetting, when you come across a unit that's got a problem, something like a stopped up TXV or piston or uh, a leak in the coil, uh, something that's going to require you doing some sealed system work. What do you usually handle that immediately, or do you try to schedule it out? Working for somebody else, you always are at the mercy of their schedule, and every once in a while, if you've got you know, immediate parts availability, whether it be TXV or whatever, the company will allow you to go ahead and do the work then. But generally speaking, they've already got calls booked in a two hour window, and so you end up, you know, diagnosing an issue but having to return on scheduled time to actually make the repair and I um, just wanted to know how you guys handled it I, mean, I know that Ralph was talking about John having to do a coil replacement because the customer was ready to go ahead and do it John Israel um, was ready to do it now uh, and so whatever his schedule was got pushed back and he went ahead and did an uh, evaporator coil change but it seems like it, it, it uh, would really throw off your promised time to make, you know, repairs that'll be two or three, four hours, depending on exactly what you're getting into. And how do you guys handle that? I was listening to, I think it was Al Gregory. I keep talking about him and I, where he said that his dad had the business and then his brother took it over and ran it into the ground and then his brother was offering to give it off to him and uh, he didn't want it but he took it and he was saying how working for yourself with a bunch of guys under you is more of a headache than working by yourself with a helper and I have considered for years now 
getting my licensing. Uh, there you go, Jonathan Bennett. Uh, so that I'm not a, a hack, because those of you that do side work without a license and without pulling permits or having the customer pull the permits shot to be ashamed of yourselves. I'm kidding. That's a total pile of garbage. Licensing is no other... Uh, never mind. I won't go into that. But Al was saying that, you know, after he had had five or six guys working under him, he got back to the point where he's just working by himself because it was too much of a problem to be chasing these guys that didn't do honest work and fixing his own company's screw-ups through these, you know, lazy technicians. And um, he said that rather than uh, be in business for yourself and getting a big company together, sometimes it's just better to work for somebody else where you can make an honest living and uh, spare yourself the headaches. And I really took that to heart in light of, you know, a steady paycheck and uh, insurance, especially with uh, that oh crap I care that is in the mix now. It uh, is that much more terrifying or scary or frightening to consider going into business for yourself. And uh, it really kind of sucks. So... How do you deal with immediate repairs? I realize a blower motor or whatever is fairly straightforward. Most people carry motors and whatnot on their truck, but not everyone is immediately able or uh, outfitted to do sealed system work with a coil or a TXV or whatever um, on the spot when they diagnose the issue. As always, thanks for watching like to know what you do about your uh, necessity for immediate repairs down in the comments below. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you on the next one.